what impact can the spread of virus have on our healthcare system? With very few testing labs for genome sequencing, will Omicron burden our healthcare system or will we be able to cope if there is a surge? One thing, Anshika, we have to remember is that that genomic sequencing will only tell you the trends, right? As earlier once it was announced that we should be having, you know, about everybody tested for every individual who is positive for COVID-19 should be tested for genomic sequencing. Minister of Home Affairs said that we should be testing at least 5% of the community-based samples. And now with this Omicron, we said that we will be testing everybody coming from the you know countries which are at risk countries that means when we talk of you know there are about 10 countries which are in our list and we should be testing approximately five percent of the samples which are there from people who are coming from the countries which are not at risk but if you look from the practical perspective i will say that basically we have to rationalize genomic sequencing after all we have understood this virus by now and we know that it is a fast spreading virus it is not causing very severe infection and as of now we are watchful of this it's not that we have you know kind of you know shut our eyes and people should not go with this idea that the, the infection is mild so we can be you know kind of complacent about the whole thing. no we are vigilant about this but on a sample basis we can definitely take you know let's say a sample of 100 from every state every week and then we can test and then that's how that will give us as to whether there is a new variant which is coming or not. So testing, treating, tracking as of now becomes a very important part and a subsample of that should be sent for genomic sequencing. But we should not be unnecessarily loading our labs with that part because we also know that it is the regularity and timely sample which is representative of the population should be sent for genomic sequencing. Then only we will know that which are the other variants which are coming. So it becomes very important. But monitoring the trend of infection through testing, treating, tracking, monitoring the severity of infection is very important. Your another question was also about the health system preparedness. This is basically, let me tell you, as of now, majority of the people are there which are who are being monitored at home connected to their healthcare providers where you know they at home level only you know whatever symptoms they are having they are being managed or they are encouraged and empowered to manage themselves that means if they're in ventilated room they should see their regular oxygen through pulse oximetry they can record their temperature they can wear masks, protect themselves, protect others also. So that's how the message goes at home because we do have a limited size in home also. So it becomes very important for the person how he or she isolates himself. But more important is for those individuals who are 60 years and above who are suffering from comorbidities that they should be in regular touch. Everybody has to be in touch with the providers, but we have to be especially particular about these individuals who are 60 years and above because they may be suffering from diabetes, hypertension, or any other comorbidities like stroke and all that, or they are on renal dialysis. So maybe they deteriorate because uh, uh, these comorbidities are not controlled. So that's where if that their comorbidities or let's say their blood pressure or Diabetes is not under control. Maybe then they require hospitalization, but we have to definitely keep a watch on the oxygen level. Though initial evidence, which we have understood this Omicron from December onwards, it shows that basically, you know, we don't have much of people with the respiratory symptoms because the virus does not have predilection for lungs. It is only till bronchus, and that's how people present with more cough and so on. So on.